After years of sending advisors, supplies, and military assets to combat insurgency in South Vietnam, the United States decides to commit ground troops to guard its bases and personnel from rising guerrilla activity. In March of 1965, the 9th Marine Expeditionary Force comes ashore at Da Nang to provide protection to the airfield and vital port. Greeted with enthusiasm by the local population, the Marines hope their presence will deter Viet Cong activity in the vicinity of Da Nang. But this is not to be. As guerrilla activity intensifies, American military personnel become favored targets. Within a month, President Johnson authorizes the Marines to begin offensive combat operations around Da Nang. At first, these operations are small in scale, aimed at locating the Viet Cong and preempting their attacks. Most engagements are intense, but over quickly, as the Viet Cong disperse before the superior firepower of American forces. These actions result in much higher casualties for the Viet Cong than for the Americans they attack, prompting many observers to suggest that the conflict in Vietnam will be a very short one. Have you seen any... Yet. Action? Hell, two days ago I got my ass bitten off by fire ants. Other than that, no. Been working on my suntan. <laughs> this country is beautiful though, ain't it? It sure is. Okay, Don, I think that's all. Thanks, soldier. Fire ants? Jesus. Exciting stuff, Morris. Don, let me get a sign off here. <clears throat> this is Morris Schiffer reporting from the Da Nang Air Base, Vietnam, with the Marines of the 3rd Battalion. Yo, Chef! Pick up that football! It's under the truck! Go right here, man! Nice toss. Grease up. Heads up. Horse, go along. Shoot, I'm a defensive tackle, man. Keep that thing away from me. Shepard! Oh, my God. Did you get that? Oh, oh God. God. Did you see that? Oh, Christ, what the hell man. was that? Get your asses in gear. I want you men to grab your gear and get back here in 15. Victor Charlie is launching those rockets from the surrounding hills. I don't expect they'll be around when we get out there, but we'll take a few patrols out there just in case. Dismissed. Dear Mom, I'm still safe and sound. None of us have seen any real action. Although the lieutenant says we're due to head out on patrol sometime soon. Spend most of our time drilling or just throwing the football around. Reminds me of two-a-day football practices back in high school. Us black marines mostly stick to ourselves and don't get bothered much. Lawrence Stiles, the, the guy we call Smooth, got in a shoving match with some white guys about buttoning in line at the mess. But he's from Detroit and had a chip on his shoulder. I did make friends with a big white farm boy from Iowa who everybody calls Hoss. 
and he keeps most of the crackers off our backs. It's been a smooth couple of weeks. The base gets mortar and rocket fire almost nightly, but no one in my unit's been hurt, and we're almost getting used to it, if you can believe that. The locals are pretty nice to us, and although some of the guys say the villagers are the same ones shooting rockets at us, I have a hard time believing it. It's been dry for a month. Dirt's pretty red. Reminds me a lot of Oklahoma in the summer. I'll write you again as soon as anything happens. I hope you and Dad and Jamie are all right. I think about you all the time. Your son, Dean. Horse, you must have pissed someone off. Either that, or you're dumber than I thought. Well, how you figure? White boy like yourself getting stuck going out in the bush with a bunch of brothers. Ain't you heard, Smooth? Charlie don't like to fire black folk. The way I see it, I stay close to you. I go home on a freedom bird and not in a body bag. <laughs> Man, fuck that noise. Charlie does not discriminate. Still, we keep pulling jobs like this one. We should get out of the now with no more than a scratch. Then why the hell are we riding up top instead of inside the APC? This tin can hits a booby trap on the road. You don't want to be inside. Shrapnel bounces around in there like a rubber ball. But up here we sitting ducks for an ambush. There ain't gonna be no ambush. Lieutenant Trazek says that Charlie Scott out of here weeks ago. They pop in and shoot a rocket at the base and then leave. The grunts have been running patrols through here for the last month. Mama, son, I knew that thing. We gotta get going. Mama, son, move that bull, you man. Know, we know. got places to go. Hey, hey, Hoss, you got experience with them farm animals. Why don't you get out and milk that thing or something? Yeah, <laughs> very funny, greaser. Very funny. Move that goddamn bull, Mama, son. Get some cover! On this side of the APCs, watch for sniper fire! I'm looking. Hey, Crater. Sucker was probably a 400-pounder. Good Christ! Should we call for a medevac? Huh. For that red spot over there? Shit, man. Anybody got an E-tool? Show some fucking respect, asshole! That could be any one of us over there! Sorry, sir. You see anything, Tony? Negative. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Snipers along the tree line! Contact! Gooners on the tree line! This is what they pay us for, Marines! Move up to cover! Come on! I can't believe this, man! Contact! Shit! Smooth, you forget how to use that rifle! Damn it! Put out rounds! Kiss my black ass, farm boy! This is what we don't buy! Oh, you want to trade? You push up the hell up! Shit!
it's tighten up time. We're going in there after them. They may be setting up an ambush, or they may have already skied out. Peep the trails for booby traps. Keep an eye on your team and fire discreet bursts. Let's move out. If they hit us, it'll be most Ricky Tick. Keep your eyes open. Get some cover! Another trap! Watch your asses!
Looks like Charlie's dug in on the top of that hill. Shepard, I can call for some army if you get close enough to get those coordinates. Shep, get on up there and get those coolers. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Roland Shepard, this is one of the most difficult letters I have been required to write. It is with the most heartfelt sympathy that I, as his commanding officer, write to you of the death of your son, Private First Class Dean Shepard, ASN 989-31357, at 1.30 on the afternoon of 14 April, 1965. Dean was killed in action by enemy fire while in the performance of his duty. While on patrol to locate rocket sites west of Da Nang, his unit was ambushed by snipers. In the ensuing firefight, Dean was struck by multiple enemy rounds and died before he could receive medical attention.